Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we're beginning our project of building a smart contract project with Brownie and Python from scratch. So our first step is going to be to start or initialize the Brownie project. So join me in your command line or terminal application. Here we are going to create a new project folder. You can also just do this manually, but to create a new folder via the terminal, you can visit the project where you want to create the folder and then create a new folder with mkdir. Let's create a folder called hello world. Then we're going to enter the folder with the command cd. So now we're inside of the folder and in there we're going to use the command brownie in it. So you have to have brownie installed. This is going to initialize a new brownie project. You should see a success message. A new brownie project has been initialized at the project folder that you just created. You can also list out the contents of your Brownie project with the command dir or ls, dir on Windows and ls on Mac or Linux. And here you'll see you'll have several folders, which you can also take a look at in a code editor. We recommend using Visual Studio Code for this project and also add the Solidity extension by going to the command palette and then looking for Solidity if you already have it, or going to view and then extensions and installing the Solidity compiler extension. So when you create a new project with Brownie, you'll have several folders here and a couple files. You have git attributes and git ignore for GitHub. You have a build folder which will contain the compiled files once they're compiled. You have a contracts folder where you put your Solidity contracts, an interfaces folder where you can add interfaces. You can also have reports. You can write Python scripts to automate tasks like automate deployment, automate minting, whatever tasks from your contracts you want to automate with Python. And you also have a folder where you can put your tests. So you can write tests with PyTest to make sure that your scripts are working as expected. So that is how you can initialize a new Brownie project from scratch. Brownie also does have templates. For example, there is a template for a coin smart contract or the fungible token. You can also create a template for React and Brownie. But in this lecture, we learned how to start a project from scratch. So we have to build all of the content ourselves. Join me in the next lecture. We're going to continue this project by building a Solidity smart contract. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.